Cancer immunotherapy is a global term and it really encompasses very different types of treatments for cancer patients. Some of these immunotherapies include antibodies, some include vaccines, some include cytokines, and some include checkpoint inhibitors. Using immunotherapy antibodies in cancer has really revolutionized cancer treatment. In breast cancer, adding antibodies to patients who express this one particular molecule has really improved outcomes for these patients. And similarly, we see improved outcomes for patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma with the use of the antibody as well. Vaccines are approved to treat um, prostate cancer. Um, it's the simple cell T uh, vaccine. And cytokines have certainly been used less since the advent of checkpoint inhibitors. However, there still are certain times where we, it is used. It is used with kidney cancer, and it is actually used in adoptive T cell transfer um, in melanoma. Um, so checkpoint inhibitors are approved to treat melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So immunotherapy is actually being explored to treat a number of other kinds of cancers in clinical trials, including breast cancer, head and neck cancer, colorectal cancer, gastric cancer, and other types of lymphomas as well. Right now we're using immunotherapy mainly um, in metastatic disease, meaning where we're trying to prevent cancer that's already spread. And we're using what we've learned from treatment now to make future decisions. And so right now we're doing better at treating patients once disease has spread and they've developed metastatic disease and we're seeing responses, you know, partial responses and complete responses. We're actually using this information and saying, well, can we now use these medicines, use these antibodies, use these immunotherapies to prevent the disease from coming back. And so I suspect we'll see more clinical trials using these medicines in the adjuvant setting, again, in earlier stages of cancers to try to prevent the disease from coming back. And it's very possible we'll see these move into that realm.